Welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider 1. And I am now on level 8, the cistern. Which I know what to do, so I will not get lost. I actually just muted the sound on my TV because it was really bugging me before. And I pushed the block the wrong way. Oh my god. Let's push it in. Because there's a switch you need to get to. I thought the rats... Okay, apparently the rats don't come out until you pull the switch. The switch does two things. It opens the trap door on the left there, and it opens that silver door. As enticing as it may be to jump right down the trap door, drop by this door first, because there's a large medipack. pack. Okay, there's nothing else. And here we are in the cistern. There are crocodiles and rats and that's about it. You definitely want to kill these crocodiles, or else you will regret it immensely later on. Okay, I'd love to shoot the other one. No, I'm not. Okay, kill the rat. That's nice. There are five keys we need to get. Two rusty keys, and they go one there and one there. We need two silver keys, which where that where her head is, I guess. There's a, two doors, and they need a silver key each. And we need one gold key, which opens the final door. And you can't see it from here, but there is a key right above me, and the first time I went through this level, I had no idea that it was even there, and I got so stuck. Shimmying is boring. Don't forget to pick up the shells, because, you know, shells always come in handy. Oh, left, and left, 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 left. Glitchy textures, glitchy textures! And you probably don't want to fall. Uh, well, from up here at least, because it's a long way down, and she will probably die. Okay, that's the first rusty key. Nah! Oh. As I was saying, you probably don't want to fall. Mm. 
Mm, here's a save crystal, which I guess I'll use. Now there's a secret in the pool, but I will get that later. Now, our old buddy Pierre is waiting for us right in here. Hooray. I should probably use a medipack. Way. Is he stuck? <sighs> you know what, Pierre? I don't even care. Leave me alone. Here we have our first secret. And this is not it. It is up here. <laughs> Still not it. Well, I mean, I don't know if the chime rang or not because I have my sound turned off. But here's our first item. Some beautiful shells. Shotgun shells. I mean, I guess they could be seashells if you look, kind of, with your head turned the other way, and if you were blind and stupid. Alright, Laura. I always try and go down backwards, and it just, it never works. Is he still in here? No, but I see the rats. I don't usually even bother with them, because they're so hard to kill from that point. Okay, totally didn't even make that close. That switch there raises the water level in the cistern. You don't want to pull that yet. I want that many pack. How do I get it? Oh. Hooray for discovery. Sidestepping takes a long time as well. Medipack, medipack. Yay. Ooh, and more shells. What am I supposed to do with all of these? Oh, maybe you could use them? Why, Lara, whatever gave you that idea? Um, I don't know. Oh, I don't want to get wet. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Lara. What? Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it! And this game is so glitchy, but I love it. And we have our second rusty key. Which actually went a lot faster than I planned. You yeah, don't, <laughs> don't just drop right off there. Because if you have even a little bit of health gone, she will die. Or actually, the fall might even just kill her in general. I don't know. Oh, and I should have killed those rats.
Okay. And this, oh, crud. Puts you right back at the cistern. Man, Laura has a six pack. Look at that thing. <laughs> I guess we can go get the second secret now. And make sure there aren't any more crocodiles. Some magnum corpse. You can enter it from either side, the left or the right. It's just like a big U. Okay. Now that you have your two keys, you can, um,. Laura, are you kidding me? Wow, this is making me motion sick. Which, I admit, is not hard to do, but still. entirely sure, but for the first door, if you're facing it from the slope we just came down off of, the first door on the left that you use the key on, I don't know if you have to keep the water level low, but the door on the right, you can't go in there until you raise the water level in the cistern. Yeah, the door on the left, I don't know, but the door on the right, if you try and go in there without raising the water level, she'll just die because it's full of spikes. And guess who's waiting for us in here? Yes, once again, it's our good buddy Pierre. And some gorillas. Pierre, I don't think will appear until you reach the third ledge up here. Just because he's a pain like that. So the best way to deal with him, in my opinion, is to reach that ledge, drop down, and... Um... Um, oh, sorry, I heard a gunshot. <laughs> Go away! Go away! Is he still there? I can't tell. Yeah! Hello? Nope, he's gone. Ooh, those gorillas are kind of creepy. <laughs> large medipack, and um, the ledge in the wall there, there's an item. It's actually, it's hard to get. Um, I don't understand why they didn't make it a secret. Because it's a pain. I had no idea how to get to it at first. I would just die. 
But all you have to do is either take one step back and do a swan dive, a step back and do a side or back flip, or actually I think that's the only thing that'll work. If you try and do a running jump and a grab, she'll land on the ledge below. If you just do a running jump, she'll just hit the wall and fall and die. If you do a standing jump, she'll hit the ledge below as well. So, I don't know what their deal on that was. A running jump and grab gets you up here, I'm sorry. Not below. Duh. Uh, yes. Crocodile room. There are a lot of crocodiles down here. Well, if two counts as a lot. Actually... I'm just gonna use the pistols. And run. And jump. And you're safe. And there's a third one. And he's right above Lara's head there. I can just see his head sticking out. And it's so annoying because he won't come out unless you go near it. Okay, apparently one shotgun hit will kill it. And I'm going to save. And then I will go back there, because there's something you can get. And there's also a rat back here that I didn't know about, it scared the heck out of me the first time. And a large mini pack. I'm not really sure why they did this. There's this platform, and supposedly you're supposed to jump up to that, grab that, drop down to that one there, and then shimmy across. But I think it's so much easier just to do this. If you stand... Oh, crud. Aim properly, at least. Right here. Do a running jump, and... Yeah. I don't even know why they put all the stuff, the extra stuff in there. It's just easier to do that. And don't just run right in here all willy-nilly. Because spikes. And some rats. That have the nasty tendency to push you into the spikes. Another rat is down here, I think. Yeah. Uh, there should be two. Also, do not jump in that pool, because if you do, you can't get out. You have to go all the way back to the cistern and then start over. Our next objective is that key in there. And to get to it, there's a lot of jumping.
And I do believe if Lara falls from this height, she will die no matter how much health you have. So, don't. Hi, Lara. Oh, hello. Oh. This is an awkward situation. Her chest is so pointy. Stop looking at my boobs! I can't help it, Lara. Oh yes, one more thing. Guess who's waiting for us after we pick up the key? Yes, it's our good friend, Pierre. But we don't have to fight him. Just totally ditch him. Ha oh. ha! Run away! Yes, this room you can't actually do anything in yet. She. She? See? There's a switch. Oh. Okay, you can see right through the floor. There's a large medipack up there, along with a rat. And a small medipack. And I know there's a save crystal up there. And that switch up there is a switch you can only pull underwater. And it opens that door, which has a key in it. But we can't um, do that yet, because the water level's not high enough. But now that I've gotten the other key... Leaving time... Actually, I'm almost at the end of the level, believe it or not. I would probably jinx myself saying this, but I've... This is going really well. Now we can raise the water level in the system. And you don't want to fall back in this, in the holes in the floor again, because you have to go all the way back through. Yes, now that the water level is up, we can do this. Instead of going all the way back around through the other room, you can swim right through here. And... Keep swimming. And... Keep swimming. And... Kill the rat. No, not that rat, Lara. Kill the one that's nomming on you. Nomming? Nom nom nom. Yeah, I still think they're kind of cute. Even though they're, like, bigger than her whole leg. I'm a rat person. And mice. I think mice are adorable, too. I'd gotten two from a pet store when I was little. And either one of them had gotten pregnant in there, because they were both supposedly girls, or one of them was lying about their gender, and... Long story short, they had babies. And I learned that when mice don't like their babies, they eat them. That was disturbing. My controller is so squeaky. And I do believe another crocodile comes out when you pick that key up, so... Not. Now we can open the other door. You know what? I think it was that, um, when you get that last key there. I know a crocodile comes out of somewhere. No. 
That's the wrong key. Yeah, and as you can see, if you dropped down here without raising the water level, you would be impaled. For Pete's sake, Laura, go! Yeah, this is... I knew it! Alright. Yay! End of the level time. And, no, of course, the end of the level is not simple. Because once you get out of here... Another story with lines and spikes and another secret. I really need to remember to find the WD-40 in our house because my controller is driving me crazy. Yes, and here's the third secret. Magnum clips and Magnum clips and a large medi pack. My foot is itchy. Why is my foot itchy? And you know, I really like these potted plants, even though I have no idea how a plant could even survive in here that long. Or however long this place has been around. I don't know, they had a nice touch. No. Whoa, my game just got real slow all of a sudden. And I used the wrong key again. And once we open this door, there's another door. So we use this key. And what do we find? A closed door and a save crystal. And I'm not even going the right way. Um, I don't actually know if there's anything in that alcove there. I don't think there is. And if there is, I don't really care. Either way. Yeah, there's a gorilla back there. If you're low on health, then don't even bother, like... Just jump here, and then fall back down, and you can shoot it from a distance. But otherwise, just stand there and kill it like a man. Or like Lara Croft, I should say. I'm not a man! I didn't say you were. Oh. Do you feel insecure, Lara? No! I resent that! Holy Jesus. I probably should have stayed up there and waited for the lines to come. Which is what I always do. <laughs> I don't want the shotgun. Just use the pistols. Before we open the door, we shall get an item. All these breakaway tiles have spikes in them, except for this one, where you get a medipack. Which always comes in here. Oh, crud. Are you kidding me, Lara? Now, what you'd want to do...
is a very long and tedious process of pulling the block. Is it just me, or is my game, like, lagging, or just going really in slow motion or something? I don't know. And once you pull the switch to open that door, there are lions that come out, so... Pull the switch, hop back, and then jump forward, and you'll be totally safe. Because they're too stupid to jump upwards. What the heck?! Did that thing just come flying out? What? I'm sorry, lions, I didn't mean to offend you. Please don't fly and eat me. Or if you do, at least do it where I can see it on film. Don't you run away. You coward! Not to make a cowardly lion joke, but... You coward! Get back here! It's not even dead? Are you kidding? Laura, your aim sucks. And now it's dead. And we want to push this block into the other room. When you push a block into a different room, the color, like, abruptly changes from the light difference. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that should do it. And there's a switch in here, but that just closes and opens that door, which I'm not really sure of the point of. And let's see. Two rats, and then level exit. And there are a couple goodies up here to pick up. A large mani pack, and don't forget the oops, the two shells. Or sets of shells. No, okay, they're magnum clips. Never mind. Don't forget the magnum clips. I like back flipping. Let's not get carried away, Laura. Woo! I don't like falling. No one does, Laura. And there we go. I have shaved 20 minutes off of my time. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in level... Whatever the next level is, because I still don't know the name of it. It's a watery level. And guess who's waiting for us in there? Yup, that's right. It's our good buddy, Pierre.